Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Thursday, October 29th, 2015. We'll take a look at this chart, folks. SAVE, which is Spirit Airlines, a really nice move to the upside today. Just days ago, it was hitting multi-year lows. And a lot of people were saying, oh, man, this is so bad. You know, you had the bearish sentiment out there. Yet here at InTheMoneyStocks.com, we said, listen, a pierce of 34 is a buying opportunity, is a swing trade. My business partner here, Nick, he put out a options trade, a call play on save when it get, got down to 34. That is obviously paying huge dividends, and I want to show you why we decided that this was a major level. Why out of all points, why was $34 a major level on SAVE? First of all, go to the daily chart. Let's take a look at that first and uh, foremost here. And what you could clearly see is the stock has been pounded. So we know the stock is oversold. So anytime I'm looking for a swing trade, the average investor looks for stocks that are going up and are ripping higher and they try to jump on the bandwagon. Wrong move. What you're really looking for is something on sale, something that has gotten disproportionately punished in this case if you're looking to go long versus where it should be. And that's why I always look for these stocks that are well off of their highs, pulling back, and then ultimately you need to find reasons at the current level of why that level is a major level. Why is that the level that's going to bounce? So in this case, why was 34 a key level? All right, answer is this. Let's get into it. The simple answer is notice how you had a three-bar surge, all right? The theory, the methodology dictates that when you have a three-bar surge up or down, it is usually the end of a move. So if you have a three-bar surge down, you're getting close to a bounce, if not at a bounce point. Three-bar surge up, you're probably getting into a point where the stock is going to start to pull back. And again, the key is it has to happen at the at the end of a move. So you should either be at multi-year or 52-week highs for a short or 52-week or multi-year lows. Okay? So again, notice here, very simply, one two, three bars. The other factor here that's important is notice how it was an increased volume period too. So think about this. You have a, what's called a capitulation going on, and that term is used where you have a lot of the amateurs getting super scared. Uh, a lot of the amateurs probably bought over here, and as it's falling, they're panicking and, you know, dumping. All right, then in return, what's happening is the increased volume comes in not only from them dumping, but institutional players and smart money, much like those here at InTheMoneyStocks.com, are then accumulating. So that's why more volume occurs. You get the panic on one side and smart money then letting the panic kind of sell right into their levels at 34 in this case and being buyers. So that's the key there. The increased volume, the three-bar surge at a 52-week low off of a major sell-off here, that was the first signal. Now, that's great. That's a start, but we want to find more factors, right? It's all about finding multiple factors. The more factors you find, the more likely you're going to have a winning trade. Next, I want you to go to your weekly chart, okay? So look at your weekly here, and in addition, so you had a three, and this is very important, guys. So going back to the daily chart, look at this. Three bar surge, one, two, three. Now flipping over to your weekly chart, what do you have there? You also had a three bar surge, one, two, three. Three. Once you have, when you have a three-bar surge, not only on the weekly chart but on the daily as well, that's a, even adding more fuel to the fire for a bounce. Okay, and sure enough, you can see the tail already forming here. Look at the volume over the last three weeks. Obviously, an increased volume, which tells us that as well um, that you're getting close to that bottom. And that's not all, folks. And I feel like a infomercial here. That's not all. But bottom line is, zoom out now, and what you can clearly see is, all right, you had this move up here, and then you had this move down here, right? The little caveat was right here, okay? So what I want you to do is see how pivot high, pull back, pivot high, and then break out. Take a trend line right there and put it right in that point, all right? Here, which matches up with these little pivots, and you can even use this little, these little tail lows here as well. Bottom line is, this was your zone, and that just happened to coincide with a pierce of 34. I think the chart got down to like 33 and change, but... That is a major area of consolidation. Really, again, if you look at this move up here, which was pretty much a straight move up with a little bit of choppiness, and then this move here, this is the only point in this range where you had kind of a pullback, a push-up, a stall, and a breakout. And again, past levels that were resistance are future levels of support when you come back into them. That's standard knowledge. Right? So again, now just think of all these factors that I've given you at this point. Now, you know, some of you guys probably are saying, holy cow, I just basically decide if I'm going to buy a stock by whether or not I like their product. Well, that's not enough. 
You need to have chart signals, and that's what we do here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. So ultimately, you want to learn this. It's a no-brainer to want to learn this and get profitable consistently in this market, in any market, frankly. Come to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Take, take a look at our track records, guys. Research Center Options Alerts track records are up on our website. Research Center is for swing trading stocks. Uh, options alerts obviously are for options plays and again these are both swing trading on both meaning they're shorter term buys where you're holding them for a few days a week a couple weeks that's generally the idea there and you want to get that big bounce so for instance on these uh, option plays for save you know it's getting towards that area where you're going to take profits we've only been in it for you know less than a week at this point or so and then again right here you know, start to think about taking a little bit off the table you're up significantly on these trades and uh, that's exactly what we do here so come join us here at inthemoneystocks.com folks again it's the PPT methodology price pattern time is what PPT stands for it is something that when you learn it you will basically put yourself in the upper echelon of all traders and investors in the world take care guys